Hello everybody and today we're going to be doing some, creating some work um, based on shapes and the shapes that are around us. Um, we can see here some geometric shapes so like squares and rectangles, triangles, hexagons, perfect circles and then we have organic shapes that are more irregular and natural and more found in nature. And I have here a collection as well for us to look at of abstract work and um, that are, is kind of based around shapes. So firstly, we have Hilma af Klimt, Klimt and she was actually one of the first or if not the first abstract artists. And it was quite unusual back then for it to be a female artist. Um, so I have all female artists today that we're going to look at. Then, um, so if, as you can see from our first painting here, there's lots of circles and um, other types of shapes um, and uh, she and, and then color, she used um, wonderful colors. And uh, as you can see as well, I've put a picture in to show the scale. So there were really large works, but she didn't get um, uh, the notoriety that others like Kandinsky would have known, been well known for abstract. Second, then I have Mary Swansea and she was one of Ireland's first abstract artists and I have some of her paintings called Abstract Geometric Painting and the second one called Trees. And again, beautiful shapes and colours. So maybe even pause the video and just look at the, all the different shapes and colours. The next artist I put up is Mani Gillette and she uh, was a pioneer of modern art in Ireland. And I have abstract composition up and um, another painting called decoration. And again, lots of really unusual shapes and things in her work. Then we have uh, Mary O'Connor and and Mary is a Wexford based artist working today. And I really love her use of shapes and colour in her work. Uh, she uses screen printing. So, um, yeah, so we're going to work on our own abstract works and um, find some shapes from around our home. <music> I hope you enjoyed looking at some of those abstract works and that they have given you some inspiration uh, for what we're about to do today. Um, what I'm going to get asked you to do is uh, go around your house and pick up five to ten objects uh, that we're going to use. Um, we're going to use them to make shapes and to um, make uh, marks on a page um, and even maybe you can pick up some old magazines or brochures or something that are not used and uh, do some uh, collage on your work as well. So some of the things I got um, were just like this is a little plastic cup, um, which is great. I got like some large round shapes and I got smaller round shapes. I could use it um, for uh, if I placed it down sideways I could get a kind of a cone shape. I also used a bit of masking tape uh, in the work as well which is um, uh, can be used in different ways and I'll show you um, some of that. So if you have tape, uh, masking tape is great um, and or other types of tape if you don't have that. I also used banana as a shape um, and just a blackboard eraser um, and also this is this thing I used quite a lot um, which uh, initially I just got because I thought it might make a nice oval shape but on the back of it actually and um, there's these um, spikes and I used it to make little prints now this can be washed so if there's something like that as well that you can make uh, little prints from um, around your house and everybody's going to have something different as well so um, your work is going to be very um, original to your you and your environment and um, so yeah so maybe different things with shapes small large round more square and um, more organic like a banana or um, other things that you'd have um, 
and then some old brochures and things that you can cut up some things that you can possibly make some marks from i used this i also used the top off my print stick to make some little rounds that i actually printed marks so just yeah five to ten random th things and just don't spend too long on it um, and so you can go and um, pick those up now so i hope you have picked some objects that are of interest and um, you can always just go and pick up some more um if you find you need something else but um i will just start uh, just to make shapes with um some of the objects that i use so here's my uh cup and i'm making a round shape and you can use pencil but you can use a coloring uh, pencil either which um uh can be easily um um covered over with paint or when you're using whatever colors you're using whether it's paint or coloring pencils or um so i did one large round shape i'm going to do a small round shape um like with the banana then i just placed that down there and i decided uh, to do that long shape across the page and i just traced around it um so maybe just always be thinking um of the whole page and where you're going to place your objects and are they all on the one side or are you going to have them all over and um, you might have more more going on here and a little bit of what we call negative space over here where there's not much going on um so and here's some of my other shapes and i have um I'll, I'll might use the cup like this then as well and where else did i get um um i have some more rounds here and I'll do another larger circle here then i might use my masking tape and take it off a piece and i might just put a strip down here and when i paint over it then and pull it back i'll have this um area with no paint on it and that'll create um interest in a area uh, and a shape a shape in itself as well so um we'll also be doing some print and some collage and things on it as well so you don't have to fill up the whole page with shapes but it's a it's a lovely start i think to to the to the painting and um can create lots of areas of interest so start um getting your colors ready then and um painting maybe the different shapes different colors depending on what um what colors you like and if you're looking for maybe inspiration as well like for one of the brochures i was using i was looking and and i saw all the different colors on the brochure and i kind of used some of those some of these red and green and there was some um yellow and things like that but um um here's one i did um earlier with the banana as you can see um and then just my different round shapes and some of them overlapping then i got um this guy the spikes and i actually painted it on to the top of it painted some paint and um did some prints and i really liked it so i did it again and again and again um and i think that was nice uh, to use um i also have some collage bits that um i was going to um stick onto it as well that i hadn't 
um, hadn't done yet. So but you can be thinking about where you're going to place them, where you think um, looks interesting to place these objects. And I might put that round up there. Um, so you no longer know it's a banana. It's just a shape. And this was, um, uh, I thought, a nice, um, um, interesting little bit. I think it's actually uh, wooden logs um, from a brochure. And I'll stick them down and they will form part of my abstract. I also did um, another one here where I used the masking tape and then I pulled up the masking tape afterwards. Um, a nice little trick um, if you're using the masking tape also is to um, put it on your sleeve. Um, so you might have seen this on Homeschool Hub. And pull it off a couple of times and there's still some stick on it but not enough to tear your page when you are uh, pulling it off um, at the end. So I use the masking tape. I actually cut it in half um, along the, uh, lengthways because I didn't, I thought it was going to be too thick that way. And again here I used some collage on my painting. Um, I uh, cut this out from a brochure and a few little bits here. So I hope this helps you get really creative with your abstract works and um, getting your shapes down is really only the start and um, putting your colours and marks and everything on top of it um, will really um, lead to some interesting work and we would love you to send it in. I'll put the email address at the end and also you can send it into Wexford Art Centre Facebook page. Um, I'll leave you here again with some of the artworks that we saw at the beginning. Thank you.